welcome back to Cooking with Colleen. It's been a little while, but um, since St. Patrick's Day is here, I thought it would be fun to cook up some Irish recipes. Um, I'm partly Irish, I think. Um, certainly my name is Irish. Colleen is an Irish name, meaning girl. So um, so I'm going to um, make, today I'm going to make some Irish soda bread. Um, it's pretty traditional. This is a pretty simple recipe. Um, it only has like four ingredients, I think. So uh, it's it's simple and easy and it's really delicious, as you probably know. Um, so what you're going to need is you're going to need four cups of flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, and one and a quarter cups of buttermilk. Now, if you don't have buttermilk, that's okay. You can take a cup and a half of regular milk and a one and a half teaspoon or tablespoons of either lemon juice or white vinegar, and it will make it, it'll curdle it into buttermilk for you. So that's what I'm going to do because I don't have buttermilk on hand. I rarely have, would have that. So I've already got my cup and a half of milk. So I'm going to take my lemon juice and I'm going to put in a tablespoon and a half. And I'm just going to mix it right in together and that'll kind of curdle up a little bit. So we'll let that set while we're mixing up the dry ingredients. So set that aside. Um, I don't know about you, but I love uh, the food at this time of year, Irish food, you know. Um, tomorrow we'll be making corned beef, and I hope to share my recipe for corned beef. It's a little different than probably most people's, but maybe not. Maybe you've got a great one too, I don't know. So I'm going to take my mixing bowl, and I'm going to put in four cups of flour. I'm just going to measure that in. I'll be showing you what I'm going to do here in a minute, but everybody knows what... Uh, uh, flour looks like and how to how to measure that or if you don't know um, it's real easy to figure it out um, so I've got my four cups of flour so I'm going to take my baking soda and take a teaspoon of baking soda and put that in with my dry ingredients and a teaspoon of salt I'm just gonna measure that out get it into our mixing bowl the other thing I should tell you is um, this needs to cook at 425, so you're going to want to get your oven going um, as you start mixing stuff, because honestly, this mixing part doesn't take very long. So I uh, have all my dry ingredients together. I'll give you, show you what I'm doing. So I've got them all in here, and I'm going to uh, just mix it all up together just to combine it. Then we're going to make a little well right in the center. Kind of like this, you know, make basically it's like making a little pond. And that's where we're going to add the uh, buttermilk. So that's what we're going to do first. So you put, take the, uh, take your now ready to uh, use buttermilk now that you've mixed in the lemon juice and with the regular milk. And you're going to pour a little bit into the well. Um, let me see if I can show you that. So you're going to pour a little into the well. I think you do a little bit at a time is probably the best. So I put maybe half, a third or so in there. And then I'm just going to start stirring it. See what I'm doing here? I'm just stirring um, to kind of work in the rest of the, the dry ingredients. So it's a gradual thing. And I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna keep doing that until it incorporates in. And then I'm probably gonna use my hands a little just to mix it all up. So once it starts to dry up a little, I'm gonna add a little more buttermilk and uh, continue, continue working it in. Pretty soon, like I said, I'm gonna use my hands, but then um, the other thing you're gonna wanna have ready is a something to bake it on. So um, I like to use a cast iron skillet. So you oil a skillet so it's all ready to go. And then you're just going to put it right in there and put it in the oven. And you can also um, put it, just put it on a baking sheet, you know, grease your baking sheet and put it on there and uh, 
you know, that'll work just as well. It's, it's not a big deal. All right, so I've got pretty much my stuff worked in. I think I'm gonna convert to using my hands. I'll show you where I'm at with this. I think they say the less you really mess with it, the better. So see, it's it's kind of a nice dough. It's a little sticky, but that's, you know, it's it's kind of a biscuit, really. Or what we would call a biscuit, certainly not what the English would call a biscuit. Um, so anyway, so I think, I may not have to use my hands. It's really incorporated it well. So, and they say if you just have a little left, you can use that just if you feel like it's a little dry. So I'm gonna throw a little bit in, more in my bowl and just stir a few more times, I think. I think it's pretty much ready to go. Okay. <sighs> kind of noisy, huh? So there it is. Looks like it's ready to go. I've got my cast iron skillet here. So I'm going to, and it's already oiled, greased. So I'm just going to put that into my skillet. Just kind of plop it right in there. Get all the stuff out. Work it down and just kind of now it will rise when you make it. So I'm just gonna leave it the way it is, um, kind of right in the center there. See, it doesn't take up the whole thing, but it will rise. The other thing they tell you to do is to score it with a knife. I know it doesn't seem like much right now because it's kind of wet, but they say just make like an X across it. Mine's a little wetter than I wanted it to be, so. We'll see, I'm sure it'll still taste good. That's the important thing. Basically, you just make it, here, I'll show you what I did, but it's not It's not pretty. See, I made a, a score here and there. Um, when it bakes, it may show up more. And so, um, so now I'm gonna put it in the oven and when it's done, we're gonna have some really nice, delicious, warm bread. So um, the other thing I should say though, before I put it in the oven, um, you can add to this, you can add raisins to this. Some people put those in, that's kind of a traditional thing too. Um, I didn't this time, but you certainly could. And if you want to put other stuff in it, you could too. But this is your basic traditional Irish soda bread. So I'm gonna put it in the oven and I'll show you the results in about 40 minutes. It takes about 40 minutes you know, or until it's brown on the outside. So, you know, if, for me, I always set it for about 10 minutes short of the time it says it's going to take. And then I check on it because bread, you know, you want it to come out perfect. So, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll see you soon. Okay. And here it is. I just took it out of the oven. It's nice and has a nice uh, sound to it, kind of a hollow sound. So browned up really nicely. So now I'm going to take it and out of the skill, out of the skillet and put it on a wire rack to let it cool a little. So I can just take it right out and put it right on my wire rack. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of butter and I'm just gonna brush it over the top while it's still nice and warm. Just gives it a nice little glisten and uh, just makes it look that much more delicious. So now we can cut it and eat it, put a little more butter on it, and it should be delicious. So I hope you've enjoyed and, and uh, could follow along pretty easily. It's a pretty, like I said, a very simple recipe and um, I hope you can enjoy the Irish soda bread. Have a happy St. Patrick's Day and come see us at the library. Thanks.